Hi there, welcome to Formidable Academy. In this video, we're going to be going through the Excel Microsoft application. We are going to look into the ribbons, into the interface, cells, sheets, and the notebook itself. This is an advanced introduction. Nothing will be explained in detail, but everything will be explained to the fullest. So when you open the app, what you see is what I'm seeing at the moment. Um, can also greet you as you see there, I'm recording this, it's 22.11. So it will automatically look at your time and greet you accordingly. So what you see here is your home window on your left here. You have your new button which allows you to create a new workbook when we click here we can say we want to create a new workbook and then when we go back again to home am i lost now okay let's enter excel again so when we go back to home we also have the functions of open here on your left this opening function will allow you to open a document which is available on your PC, on your somewhere in your website or any website you might be aware of which has a workbook you might want to access and open in your Excel app and it can allow you to browse through which can also be inside your your. Your, your computer and here you can you have the search bar which will allow you to search an excel workbook you have already worked on so it's very important to remember the names of your excel workbooks because here you can easily search it and find it and here you have an option to select to enter folders and search for an excel workbook you know to say you have stored in a certain folder in your laptop or computer Going back to the home part or home inter, 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 interface, we see that we have templates here. The top templates are examples that would provides you to, to simplify your, your life. So if you want to create a billing statement, you already have an option to say, just come into this one change the cell phone numbers the fax numbers email addresses the company name address and you can easily make a bill statement for your business and then if you are looking to create a monthly budget there is also a template which can assist you with knowing to say how can you make your monthly budget and then there are more templates here it's just that they are very limited but these are your templates available and you I'm sitting there might be a website you can try to research this to download um, templates from other websites it's more than possible for example you can download a template which can calculate time differences for you a, a template which can calculate for example recently I have downloaded a template which can calculate gear multiplication of torque and speed, which is something you might have done in your technology classes when you speak about mechanical gears. And then let's get into a blank workbook and see what the ribbon has for us. You must make sure to go look into our YouTube channel and find our introduction to Excel. Some of the tabs in the ribbon are similar to the ones in your Word app and it might be helpful for you to go check that one out if i leave out some information you can fill up the gaps using the Word video which is in the formidable academy youtube channel so in your home ribbon here you have the the formatting font option here you're lining up an alignment of lines as seen also in in word 
and then we have merge and center so here you are you are given an opportunity to merge and unmerge your cells here you are given an opportunity to specify to say like what kind of decimals do you wish to have in your numbers you can increase them to be more or less and then here you are given an option to say which kind of english do you wish to use and this is the currency to say um if it's in rands if you're writing something and it's in rands it will assign it to like rands only if you are working with money and you decide to work with the united states dollar it can allow you to also do that here we have our stars conditional formatting remember everything explained in this video will be further explained in other videos so be in the lookout for the excel playlist in our youtube channel so conditional formatting is what allows you to make some cells in your notebook to be having different colors based on your conditions we will look into that soon and in the upcoming videos i mean and then here you have an ability to insert rows and columns delete rows and columns from your workbook based on your needs and then here we have our sort and filter option which allows you to sort out and filter your work and make your your working here on with a, a little bit easier and then here we have our find and then find and replace further on as we go on i shall also make a video which will give you more of keyboard shortcuts which will allow you to execute most of these functions in an easier way and then here we have analysis tools which we will look further in other ribbons for better tools and more easier tools and in future videos i shall explain solver and what if analysis which had one of which are two of the greatest sorting and analyzing functions here on excel which i prefer to use add-ins are mostly apps which you add to the excel to module to to assist you with working in a more efficient manner and we shall look into this in future videos when we move to the insert tab here we have an ability to insert pivot tables pictures a screenshot and you are able to screen clip the window you were looking at before you entered the excel app and if you can't you just have to make sure to say the the the, the window you wish to to clip is the one you open just before you open excel so that you can work easily and you can see that it mostly gives you some suggestions and then here this is what you will use to draw charts we'll have a video on that soon and then we move to spark lines which are more like trend lines which will be there to to assist you with putting some boundaries around your 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 your, your, your charts and and such and the good thing about this you can uh, like hover above any function and it will explain to you what it does so here we have some filters based on time here we have links which will allow you to link your excel notebook to your word document and when you do something this side automatically whatever you have linked to your word book will also be be automatically changed here is when you want to add text you can add a text box to your excel notebook and write something as a note for yourself and then here is when you want to add an equation it works the same as explained in the word introduction and in the word equations videos in the formidable academy youtube channel symbols the same as explained also in the videos in our word application playlist in our youtube channel then page layout these are functions which will allow you to put some coloring effects on your your notebook how the notebook is orientated the zooming and scaling when you have something pasted on top of your notebook it can allow you to make that thing appear on top of the notebook or appear below or like 
the text in your notebook will appear above whatever is inserted or pasted on top of your notebook moving on to the formulas uh, ribbon here you are given an option to know to say like what are the available options you can execute using excel we will look into detail as to how you can use most of these it will depend on what field you are working on and what you you work on but it's it's more like the 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 the, the spinal cord of excel because this is what we we come for in excel to make calculations easier calculations which change in real time i shall come back to explain most of these but these are your functions available here and this will assist you if maybe you are writing a test or an exam you can come here to remind yourself to say what function do i use when i want to look into getting something like this or how do i execute the cost the sign the across the accord the tons and all those things so we shall come back to this this is more you of you defining your excel cells as named cells and we shall come back and look at that formula auditing this is more of you coming to validate whatever you've written in your formulas and your calculations so this is also part of validation shall not take more time on it let's move on to the data ribbon the data ribbon is more of you trying to import data mostly from cvs and from other sources and this is how you can import the data and you can see here to say it allows you to say where are you getting the data from and then it can allow you to import your data here is when you are working with currencies this is your sorting option as appeared in the previous response shall come back to explain this in details in the upcoming videos this is your what if analysis where you find your goal seek something we are looking forward to for our analysis and working with data solver a nice optimization tool i shall come back and explain in the upcoming videos in the review section this is where you look into fixing your grammar your language and such stuff which is something that is not very very important in excel because here we are dealing with numbers and not words and then the most other crucial thing you have your protect functions here which will allow you to protect a sheet or protect the workbook by putting a password into it we shall come back and look into it in detail in the upcoming videos just be in the lookout to your formidable academy youtube channel then looking at the view ribbon this is where you are allowed to now modify how you see your your excel workbook you can remove grid lines grid lines are the lines inside your workbook if you look at it now there is no blocks here so grid lines make the blocks appear and then the headings are what you see here for the rows and columns this is what you see so it may it's the naming for the rows and columns which is very important i would say always keep this on the formula bar is where you see what is what you are doing inside the cell very very important it's something i wouldn't say you must remove you must stay there all the time your zooming options your freeze and split functions these are also very very helpful when you are sorting your data or trying to work on a certain part of your excel sheet and maybe clicking on two parts which are far from each other this can allow you to do that in with ease and in a more efficient manner then automate these are your macros where you are able to to, to code and make your your regular functionalities or steps if you do something repetitively which has some procedure to it you can record yourself doing it and then save it and then whenever you want to do that functionality instead of you doing it yourself excel can do it for you this is your help ribbon here this is to assist you with asking the contact uh, the, the support from microsoft excel with anything you need and then show training this is more like training and learning more about how to use excel which is something you can look into using and then explaining one more thing with the the excel sheets before 
we go to the next video so here we have our columns named so our columns are named from a to w and um for yes as i wanted to say for some notebooks it can be above that so if you want to use more than vw xyz you can continue to use these other options making your excel sheet to be a super 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 big sheet which is very big to a point where you can use it for everything every task you want to do you can use one excel sheet actually but that's something i don't recommend because the bigger the sheet the more time it takes for your computer to process it the likely it is for it to be slow when you are doing things so make everything a different notebook and then in your sheet here we also have our row numbering and then the rows and columns combine to give us the cells and each cell is named according to its location to say it's in column e row 5 that's why this one is called e5 and whatever you do inside the 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 the, 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 the what do you call it the cell is appearing here and you can also come to modify it here at in your your editing block here and then here your excel notebook is a book which has everything inside so let's say you were doing calculations whether calculations or something like that and you were doing it on a weekly basis you can now decide to say you have your monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday calculations in one notebook but to differentiate that you might decide to say inside your notebook instead of having one sheet you can have multiple sheets and you can add your sheets here at the bottom by pressing this new sheet button and it allows you to add more sheets to your to your excel notebook and you can come back right click and rename your sheet to say this is the monday this is the monday calculation the tuesday calculation and it is very very good to assist you with having related work inside one notebook instead of you having multiple notebooks for a topic or for work which is related to a point where it could be linked into just one notebook from me your academic your formidable academy tutor I think this is all I can say as an introduction to Microsoft Excel. Keep well. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like this video if you think it was more than helpful to you. Don't forget to share and don't forget to tell your friend to tell their friends about Formidable Academy. Thank you very much.